Hi guys and welcome to the fifth episode or lesson of the Let's Learn Swift 2 course. So today we are going to take a look at the if statement, but first we have to declare some variables. So let's declare a number. First one number is equal to nine. Actually we can just go with the number one and number two from the last four. So, if number one is greater than number two, print greater. So, oh, one extra brackets. So, it's greater, but if it's not. print number 2 is greater so it's greater but if we change this to 10.24 it's going to swap swap some stuff out so number 2 is greater let's take this back to 1 so the number 1 is greater but we can also check so if number two is greater than number one. So else, what does... Let me write it till the end. There. Okay, so if number one is greater than the number two, print the greater. If number one isn't the greater than the number two, so that's else. But if this is not true, but the number two is greater than the number one, then we print number one, two is greater. In ne if neither of these are true, we type out, we write out they are equal. So if we set this to if we set this number to 9.5 it's writing out they are equal but if this one is 10 number 2 is greater if the number 1 is greater it's greater so this is the simple if statement then we can write the if number 1 is equal to 0 so, so we are basically checking if the number one is divisible by the three. It's not because it's nine point five. But if we set it to nine, oh, we have one extra bracket. That's the problem, okay. Because when you type something, it already puts the bracket. So, it's divisible by number three. And that would be it of the if statements. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. We are going to take a look at the for loop.